demonstrated sermon. I was at the health shop today. It's really funny. I was laughing a minute ago. I thought, Lord, can I do it? Illustrated sermon. This is called non-GMO, which ge genetically mo modified stuff is not good. It's organic. Non it says non-GMO. I like that. Lecithin. Lecithin. L-E-C-I-T-H-I-N. 1,200 milligrams. Nervous system support. Naturally occurring. Blah, blah, blah. Very, very scientific thing here. Oh, good for brain and nerve function. I like that. So I found out this also helps with the uh, cholesterol in the blood, you know, against the LDL, that bad cholesterol. Because I just had a bunch of tests done. A couple times a year at least, at least twice a year, at least twice a year, sometimes three times. I have all the major blood tests run to know the internal state of my, all the functions of the body. So they were like, Taking statins is not good, okay? Crestor, whatever, the, the anti-cholesterol medication because it has side effects. So Crestor, 20 milligrams. You just take it because you, you're lazy and you just want to combat the cholesterol, but you don't know sometimes. So the statins is also hurting you. You know, everybody kind of, a lot of people have the consensus that they're not good, though they may uh, treat the problem, okay? so. I was at the health food store and I bought a whole bunch of stuff, all kinds of pills. You see my, I have a counter over here if I could show it to you with a 20 or 30 bottles of supplements. I thought one key of wisdom is to take supplements. You know, a lot of people don't even know about that. They're too poor to even think to buy stuff like that because it costs money. When you go there and it's $100, $200, ka-ching! At the till, the register, you're going to decide to invest in your health or not. So there's things you could take for your heart and your blood. Uh, art arterial health is garlic, odorless garlic, because garlic is nasty. It's nasty. It, it repeats. It, it tastes nasty. Your breath stinks. You, God, I garlic. I got to take garlic. I, I don't even need it. You know what I mean? I don't need garlic in my food. Why? I don't need it. You may need it. You may think I put it in the dawa. It ruins the dawa. Dawa is this lemon, ginger, and honey. Ginger is very good for the stomach, for the digestion. It's, it's just strong. It's, it's fierce. It's got a bitter, like a, not bitter, like a spicy kind of taste to it. It's very good for the health. Lemons are very good. They're cleansing. Honey evens it out very good. And there's another thing you could take for the blood is a cayenne pepper. Cayenne pepper is very good. You add a little cayenne pepper, C-A-Y-E-N-N-E. -N -N -E. If you're really carnal, uh, there's a Porsche car, P-O-R-S-C-H-E. Someone called it a Porsche in Africa. They call it, oh, you can get a Porsche. I'm like, what's that? I'm like, are you okay? It's Porsche, dear. Porsche. Oh, Porsche. Some people like to say Porsche. Where I come from in New York, it's Porsche. Not Porsche. Not Porsche. Okay, just to be correct about that. And uh, cayenne pepper, very nice. And um, then you got to put the garlic in it. You take a sip of that, you fouled your mouth, it stinks, it tastes nasty, it has the aftertaste. I I'm advanced. I'm in the advanced class. I don't need it. You know why? Because I got the odorless garlic gel caps. They're little round see-through things. The liquid is in there. They've, they've grown the garlic. That It doesn't have that stink to it. Or that taste or aftertaste. Or, I don't know how they do it. You just take, you pour, you take like a whole, I take too many. I take like about eight of them, ten of them. So ten, ten is too many, maybe seven or eight. And pop them twice a day, morning and night. Pop. Before I go anywhere, I take all these pills, wow, drink down a lot of water, have a cup of uh, black uh, espresso, you know, from the cappuccino machine. I used to put the milk in there, but I thought the dairy's not good. I don't like dairy too much. I don't need dairy. That's another thing that's not too good. Stay, get away from the mil all this milk and sugar. Uh, sugar substitute, I take monk fruit. The Holy Ghost is taking me here. Let's go. 
M-O-N-K-F-R-U-I-T, monk, I call it monkey fruit affectionately, but it's monk fruit. It's a plant from Asia. It's not sugar, but they processed it and made it, and they made it into a powder, uh, like golden, like it's almost like the golden cane sugar color. That's one, and there's another one that's white. And we pick the one you want, and you put it in your coffee or your tea, or in your drinks, whatever, and it's one-to-one, -one an equal replacement for sugar. It doesn't taste quite as good as sugar, I'll be honest. Sugar tastes nice. But sugar is deadly. Sugar is, 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 a, is a killer. Sugar is very bad for the health. You take too much sugar, you're going toward your, your, your blood sugar problem, sugar, you're destroying organs. Cancer cells love sugar. They thrive in sugar. They make the, the, the system in the body acidic instead of alkaline. To have an alkaline diet is not a joke. It's not easy. You have to eat a lot of greens. You have to cut out a lot of the starches. You have to you know, really work on that. It's not easy. Bread, rice, pasta. I love them all. We love them all. You, you eat them. But try to take steps to, uh, to curb and get away from certain things. Too much dairy, too much oil, too much fried food. I don't know what it is with people that everything has to be fried and full of grease. I don't want it. So the Lord it will give us you know, wisdom on how to take care of the temple. So the things that you can cut out piece by piece do. Next thing, drink a lot of water. Drink a lot of water. You're supposed to drink half your body weight in water in ounces every day. So if you're 150 pounds, you're supposed to drink 75 ounces of water a day, which is like about, how many liters would that be? Two liters? I don't know. I have this here. This is 500 milliliters of this really great spring water. Very good. Doesn't have an aftertaste. I think it's the best in the world. I'm gonna drink some right now. <laughs> so, <coughs> start to work on these things. Father, thank you for the health lesson. <laughs> this is thrown in here. Amen. You could sow a nice offering for the advice. I appreciate it. Partner with the ministry. I'm going to be sharing a lot more. You get to lose weight. I, had, I was at a, my doctor's this week, uh, something really serious, really great. I, <laughs> you know, consulting. I, I'm always looking after my health. Anyway, I won't tell little stories about that. But, um, and he asked me a question, you know. And I said, well, what do you, what's your advice on that? He said, in Indian, brilliant specialist, Indian from India, brilliant. By the way, he flew to India on Friday. He's there now. He's home. He's happy. He loves going to his country. So he tells me the good things about his country. He'll have some, st I'll see him in two weeks. He'll tell me the stories when he comes back. He says, I think things are better in my country than they are around here. I said, yeah, I understand in some ways. So he says, uh, lose the weight and drink the green juice. That's what he said. I was like, bro. <laughs> Lose the weight and drink the green juice and take the supplements. I said, ah, I'm doing that. All green juice. Last week I did this. I don't, I don't want to do it. I, I didn't really want to do it again now, but I feel the Holy Ghost. Let me do it again since I did it last Sunday. Maybe this is a little little part we need to put in every message, talking about, like, a, 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 let me be a health, a health uh, coach for a minute. I'm not a doctor. I'm, not a, I'm a doctor of divinity, preaching, education. Yes, doctor. Yes, Dr. Thomas Manton IV. That's me. But uh, medical, no. Nutritional, eh, I know a lot about it. Some things about it, but 
not giving that kind of advice, but I'll just tell you, there are a lot of supplements to take. And I thought, if you get all this stuff, how are you going to do? You see, I have a, I have a, a counter over here. Of, it's not, I don't think it's marble. I think it's, I think it's granite rock, black granite, really nice color. Really good. And I have all these, you can't see from the camera, but I have all these bottles of supplements. Omega-3, lecithin, gar odorless garlic, gel caps, ginkgo biloba, royal jelly, this other stuff with uh, the lutein and the supplements for the eyes, vision. What else? Enzymes, multivitamins, gel caps. I can't even think of all of them. And many more. Vitamin B, 12 extra, because I found that I needed more of that. This week I took a whole series of tests and I got a little report like this thick. Tells you what's going on in your body. I do that at least two or three times a year, at least twice a year. Go to the place, the lab, and if they can get you here, or I have a vein that for some reason it comes out right over here. So it's easy to just use the little butterfly needle, not the big long one when they almost kill you. And just take that, let them do the test, and tell you what's going on inside. Check everything. Men, check your PSA. Mine was very low, 2.4, I think. Wow! That's great! You know, cholesterol, maybe a little bit. Got to work with those LDLs. And then something came up about B12. I need B12. Yeah, I said, but if you feel tired, you feel tired. There's a reason for that. You can supplement that. Royal jelly is good for energy. Royal jelly, the capsules, pop two of those in the morning. You'll feel it. You'll feel it. B12, you'll feel it. Just one little pill, you'll feel it. Make sure your vitamin D3, take enough of that. You, you know, the doctors are saying, we need a lot of that. Ome Here's the other one I didn't mention. Omega-3. Oh, God, that's needed in the body. The enzyme Q CoQ10, I, I forgot to buy that. I got to buy that. The probiotics, also good. You should buy them again. I ran out. They're very expensive. The good ones are, cost a few, few shekels. So, but that's what money's for. I found this stuff that is manufactured in, in America now, big company, and they're not in Africa. I wanna, I'd like to bring them to Africa. But there's this plant from the, uh, when I was in uh, Malaysia, I actually ate the fruit from the roadside stands. The fruit, it's like, Liquid sugar, liquid life, like sh it's like you got adrenaline pumped right into your blood. We had bags of these fruits, and we were driving up to Penang, that little island, uh, the very top tip of Malaysia, the very south of Thailand. And that's where the, the tsunami actually hit there, Miami Bay. And I stood on Miami Bay and took pictures there. About 300 people were killed. Because uh, they have a, one of those amazing mountains that goes real vertical. The people that were up top, up the mountain, they saw the water come and washed the people away. Nothing they could do but stay up there. But those that were on the beach, when the tsunami water came in, who could know? That water moves at 500 miles per hour. The force of nature, what God even made, is frightening, isn't it? You ever ask God, why did you make alligators and mosquitoes and mambas and snakes and why? Well, for what? I don't know. When I ask him, he doesn't answer. The mosquitoes, I've cursed them, but they haven't all died yet. You have a, there's something so annoying as the mosquitoes. Why they're there, I don't know, but I curse them and I kill them. Certain insects, you're like, why? God, God is... Uh, is very amazing. So, the omega-3 does so many things in the body. It's the fish oil. And you could find, uh, I think the Now brand, N-O-W, is a white and orange bottle. Very good. Gel cap. Don't buy the cheap one, the one that's on sale so low. Here's the way you know. You get the bottle and you shake it and they're all stuck together. And you have to hit the bottle to free them from the bottom. That means that they've sunk, they're cheap, the coatings are very thin, and when you take those things, you're gonna be feeling that nastiness inside of you. 
Take the big thick ones that are made well, very thick, uh, the gel caps are very thick. I take six of them a day. Yes, three in the morning, three at night. Argue with me if you want. I'm right. Lecithin, I found out it's, it's, it, it fights uh, bad cholesterol. And it's also good for the brain. So I made a joke last week. I held the bottle up, lecithin, L-E-C-I-T-H-I-N. And I said, uh, some people could take the whole bottle, and I don't know if this will work right, because it seems that something's stuck along the way. Some people, you know. That's a joke, sorry. But that's good. It's good for the circulation. It's good for the... Now, another thing you need to attack is the arterial, arterial sclerosis, the hardening of the arteries, plaque, calcium deposits inside the arteries. You want to be taking things to keep those free. I have a preacher friend in America who died. I preached for him twice. I stayed in his house. I preached in his church. And uh, some people thought he went to the wrong city in the wrong place. And maybe, that, maybe they had a point. I didn't see it. He wanted to raise up something there. But he didn't. He got sick and he died there. And he was young. But his arteries were all clogged. But he was always eating this kind of food out, you know, restaurants, you know, fine dining, too much, whatever, and didn't do the exercise and didn't take those supplements. So I want to do more of that, not less, okay? So there's ways, like, and now as your years are ticking on, you want to take more protein, the right kind. You can't just go without protein because your muscles are start to get less as you get older in, in age, you know. You, you, you need protein. You need certain things. And I think the best way to do it is just take all that stuff, put it in a blender, or make smoothies, whatever. Just drink one in the morning, one in the afternoon, one at night. I don't know. Just be taking these things in your system. I heard a doctor come on. He says there's ways that you can cleanse your liver. There's things you can take and drink to cleanse your organs. I could go on and on. Let's take care of the temple. One thing you want to stay away from, which a lot of people don't, and I don't care if you're young still and you think you're invincible. Let me tell you, you'll, you'll, you'll get to a certain age and you'll start to feel the effects. When you're young, it's like you have an iron cast stomach. Teflon, you know, iron. You could eat anything, you could take anything, you could abuse yourself, you still feel good. But let a few decades go by in your process of life, and you'll get to the point you say, oh, not the same as when I was 20 years old, yes? Fried food. I hate fried food. I hate oil. Listen to God's prophet. I hate oil. I found a sugar substitute called monk fruit, M-O-N-K-F-R-U-I-T. Everybody needs to go to the store and find it. It's one-to-one -one replacement of sugar. It doesn't taste quite as good as sugar, but it works. Put that in your coffee. Put that in your tea. Put that in your cakes if you're making cakes. Use the monk fruit sweetener. You don't need sugar. Too much intake of raw sugar is unbelievable. I heard a story about a man from a certain community. In this community, a lot of people are going blind. They're at the eye doctors. I see them. They're full of diabetes, you see them at the cafe shops. They're always eating the cakes, the big cakes full of sugar. A certain community of people, they like that stuff. There's one guy, a, 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 very, a very rich businessman, who's also a, a preacher and a great pastor, a friend of mine. He's very rich. I mean, he's in the center millionaire in US dollars, meaning over 100. He's worth over $100 million, personally. In fact, much more. Last count. He even made the Forbes list in Africa. He was written up. He doesn't brag on himself. He tries to keep it quiet, but the cat's out of the bag. He's very, very rich. He talked about a guy. He said he was interviewing them to see about some business uh, connections, whatever. And the guy said he had, he had $30 billion in his account. 30 billion shillings, 30 billion Kenyan shillings. From what? You know from what? An old man. And he's feeding his own community. You know what he's feeding them? Sugar. 
He's a sugar industry guy. Supplying his own people with sugar, bags of sugar to the heavens. Sugar, sugar. They're getting diabetes and he's making money. I hate the word diabetes. Let's say imbalance of sugar. You're, you're hurting yourself. Cancer cells, they say, thrive in a, in a sugar atmosphere. You want to start to, 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 to diminish the sugar, okay? Diminish the oil. Anywhere I go that they're going to fry anything, I'm telling them, cut the oil. I don't want it. I stopped eating chips. I stopped taking chocolate. I stopped drinking Coca-Cola like 20 years ago, man. 20 years ago. I remember I was in London, England. I used to drink the Coca-Cola all the time and Cadbury chocolate. It's delicious. I still would like it if I would buy it, but I don't buy it. A year can go by. I won't even have one bar. I remember one time I was walking through the big shopping center and I saw a display of the chocolates and I just thought, let me just get one. I got one, I took it, and I was like, ah, it's, it's okay. But did I really need it? No. Did I do it again? No, because I didn't feel satisfied enough from it. All that chocolate, all that sugar, all that grease, all that oil, stop it in the name of Jesus. You're polluting the temple of God. Eat more fruits, eat more vegetables, eat, drink more uh, uh, fresh things, take more supplements, eh? Start to go to the gym, work the diet thing, work yourself, drink more water, drink ginger tea, right? Green, if I, green tea, I haven't even, it's good for you. I got to get green tea. Hey, y'all get me green tea. I want to start drinking green tea. I'm not a tea guy. I, I'm a coffee guy. I love coffee. I love coffee. Coffee's good for you too, by the way. It's not bad. I used to drink three triple cappuccinos a day. Three. That's nine shots of espresso. Three big ones, the triples. I'd have three a day years ago. I stopped. Now I, the most I could have is two singles. I used to have doubles, two doubles, that I cut down to two singles. Single cappuccino, take away one. I may have one more. That's it. I was bought a, a cappuccino machine by a friend. Thank you so much. God bless you forever for buying me that coffee machine. The Lord bless you. If you're watching this and everything you've done for this prophet of God, I am so grateful. I feel the anointing. I'm praying the blessings of God over you and your, 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 your people and everything that, that has to do concerning you and your life. You are to be blessed because you're a giver, and I thank God for you in Jesus' name. So I have the cappuccino machine. You know what I did? I just drink it black now. It doesn't taste that great. But I thought, why do I have to take the milk all the time? Milk, 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 milk. Dairy products, not so good for you. I cut the dairy. Change it. Drink black coffee. Cut out the sugar, man. Get the monk fruit. Put it in there. Take that. Take a lot of vegetables, a lot of fruits, a lot of salads, a lot of light food. You'll be glad you did. And then check yourself and see how you need to supplement. Uh, drum roll, please. I'm, round, I'm, I'm winding this up. We're going to move into the rest of the message. Pew. Take care of your health. The temple of the Holy Ghost. Right here.